Okay, number 21, guys. So close. <laughs> We're almost done. Now, what do we have? So, Amina is making designs with two different shapes. So, she decides to give each shape a value. So, apparently, the first shape has a value 147, and it consists of two hexagons, guys, and three icing cones. While the other one has a total value of 111, which is a one hexagon and three icing cones. So, basically, they're the same shape of a one less hexagon. Now, they want to find the value of both of the shapes. The trick is, basically, for these ones, is to realize what is missing on both sides. Well, what we could do is realize that this first shape has everything the second shape has, but plus a hexagon. So we could say that this, if we if we just replace all of these shapes with 111, we could say that 111 plus the extra hexagon will give us 147. True? That means if we solve this, so in other words, to find this shape, we can just subtract 111, so subtracting 111 will be left with a hexagon value of 36. So 111 plus 36 gives us 147. So that's this one done. Now to get the triangle, since we know that the hexagon is 36, so let's write 36 here. We can say that okay, these two triangles, these three triangles are of course the same values. So let's just firstly knock out the hexagon for a second, yeah. So we so we're left with now with three three lots of um, these uh, ice cream cones. If you subtract 36 from 111, what should you get? Oof, let me just, let's just do some quick maths here, because even I should kind of forget sometimes. So 1 take with 6 you can't do, so borrow from his neighbor, which becomes a 0, and this becomes 11. 11 take with 6 is 5, and then 10 take with 3 is 7. So yeah, so 3 of these equals 75. That means one of these, you divide by 3, will give us 25. That's it. All done. This is kind of like a bit of algebra. You could write this as algebra equations, but that's that's it. Okay, 22. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. <coughs> so this is the net of a cube. Okay, so we've got six sides over here, so six faces of a cube, and the whole system is 20. Meaning, if you think about it, since you've got four squares, divide by four, and that means each length is five, 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 and five. So this is five. What is the volume of a cube? Well, a cube has uh, is basically a perfect square all across, and they all have lengths of fives. So it's just going to be five cubed, which is 125. Done. If you're not sure why I did there, you can just literally draw the cube yourself. It's actually quite an easy easy problem. Cube has has the same length all around, so it's just five times five times five. Five times five is 25. 25 times five is 125. Done. Finally, question 23. Whew. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Good job you reached this far. If you have, give yourself a big fat pat in the back. You did well. Now, let's do this. <clears throat> so, 23. So, a length of a day on Earth is 24 hours. Good. So, important fact right there. Now, check this out. For Mercury, for the same information, Mercury is 58 and two-thirds times the length of a day on Earth. And that's just for a single day Mercury. Oh god, so that's pretty much almost, oof, what was it, one sixth of a year on Earth is the same as a day for Mercury. Make sense? Now what is the length of a day on Mercury in hours? Okay, so this is straightforward. This is just telling us that it's 58 and two thirds times Earth's 24. So we just multiply that out then. So 58 and two thirds times Earth's 24. Now that's what we have to work out and that will give us our answers. So to work this out, <laughs> the best way to do this is to do this in parts. Let's do 58 times 24 first, and then do 58, oops, and then do 2 thirds of 24, because you got to work out both of them, yeah? That's it. Now I'm going to do the right side first. To do this one, I always do firstly, you can either do 2 times 24 and then divide it by 3, or divide by 3 and then times 2. I like dividing first because it's easier. So 24 divided by 3 is just 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, so that's it. So that's 16 hours done. Now, here comes the main one. What I would do here is just do firstly 58 times 2 and then 58 times 4 separately because it's easier that way. So 58 times 2 or 20. So double 58. Well, double 50 is 100 and double 8 is 16. So it'd be 116 with an extra 0 because it's 20. And next one is 58 times 4. Now, 4 is just double 2, 
So if we know what uh, double 58 was, now we have to double 116. So double 116, well, double 100 is 200. Double uh, 10 is 20. And then double 6 is 12. So just add them all up, you should get 232. That means the total result, so 58 times 24 now, it's going to give us, well, 1160 plus 232. This is actually easy to add since you're not going to go over 9. It's going to be 1, 3, 9, 2. And finally, add 16 to that. So we're going to now have 1, 3, 9, 2 plus 16. We're going to have 8, 0. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4 and 1. Done. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad. So yeah, I guess we're done here. And yeah. I mean, I hope this video helps you guys and please, you know, if it really helped, give me a like, share it with your friends and subscribe. I've got plenty more of these videos on my playlist, so just check the comment section or the, my description and you should find everything there. But otherwise, um, if, this, if you guys are preparing for your stats, I just want to say good luck with it and, of course, um, all the best on results day when it comes. Anyways, take care guys and see you next time. Ciao.